Hello, my name is Brian Alvarado. I am the product portfolio manager for our power supplies and our uh, system solutions group here at Pepperell and Fuchs. Uh, today we're going to discuss the backwards compatibility of our uh, legacy PS2500 power supply system and our new PS3500 power supply system. So as you can see here, this is our legacy series, the PS2500 power supply. Uh, each one of these modules is a 24 volt, 15 amp power supply. These are N plus one redundant power supplies so that you have a, a series of power supplies working for one load and with N plus one configuration you can have any one of these power supplies fail and still be able to power the load. Uh, right now I have a 2 ohm resistive load connected for 24 volts. Uh, we have a meter over here that's showing you the 24 volt uh, output of these power supplies. Uh, these are backplane mounted. Here is the backplane at the top is the AC terminal mains. Uh, underneath is the DC output which I have my meter connected to. And we're going to show you how easy it is to replace an older module with the new PS3500. Uh, we will have many customers that are existing users of this PS2500 series and as we migrate to the new power supply in the event where they do have to replace one of these uh, it's very easy to just unplug one of these and then plug in one of the new PS3500s. These power supplies are hot swappable so while we'll demonstrate you can easily then uh, just pull out one of these modules while still under power and easily plug in the replacement module without disrupting your overall power to the load. So easily unscrewing it, pulling out one module, you can see I still have 24 volts available to the load and again this is configured in an N plus one topology. And now I can replace it with our new PS3500 power supply in the same slot that I pulled out the other one. And that's really all it takes. Uh, pull out one module, replace it with the new PS3500 as you see here. And again, you have an un uninterrupted power supply to your load. Uh, as you can see, we did a, a facelift. Uh, the colors change. We have a different handle. But we've also made some enhancements to the 3500. It has a, a wider temperature range. We have Class 1, Div 2, and ATEC Zone 2 approvals on the new PS3500. Uh, but in the end, it's still going to function like the PS2500 series did. So an existing user will have no issue uh, going from the old power supply to the new power supply.